Hi folks, thought I'd give you a, a little exercise today for your, your bow hold. This is really going to concentrate on the thumb, but it's for the whole hand. Um, I have a lot of students come to me with this problem. The thumb is locked and rigid. So let's see if we can address that in a manner that is kind of simple, okay? I want you to think about how you first hold your bow. Maybe you were told your thumb should be round like that, or you are told to touch the hair with it. All are fine. We want eventually to develop the ability to have springs with our fingers, some flexibility. And so if I start, say, from the hair, and then I see only my fingers open and close, my wrist isn't actually moving, so it would come away from the hair. So that's where we're going. That's not the exercise, though. What I want you to do is put your bow on your lower strings. Let's do it in the middle between the frog and the tip. Maybe on the G string or you could put it on G and D. And I want you to walk up to a mirror so that you're looking, your view is like this, looking in the mirror. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to relax your right arm completely, letting the violin hold the weight of the bow. And I want you to tap your fingers, okay? Make everything really, really relaxed. Okay, now look at your thumb in the mirror, push it way up and then bring it down. Push it way up and bring it down. Can you do that without it, say, popping through like that or feeling like you're going to drop it? Okay, now I want you to lift all your fingers except your first. You get a really clear view here and it makes it a little bit harder. So then do the same thing and try not to let your bow flop side to side when you're doing this so immediately you become the master of the thumb now just for fun let's let's deal with one more aspect and that's the pinky a lot of times my students come to me and they come in with this collapsed pinky or that so after we can do this let's put our fingers back down pinky on top and let's lift everything except that pinky. So now you have your curved thumb and you have your pinky. Lift it off the string. Shake it if you have confidence. And then put it back down. And then put your other fingers down. So now we're really in charge, okay? You should practice that. And you also might practice holding it towards the tip and doing the same thing after you've been working on what we just did. And watch your thumb elongate. Watch your pinky elongate. So I have other exercises for the curves, curvature and flexibility of the fingers. You can watch those. Anyway, that's just a little bow hold exercise. Good luck, guys.